Okay, so in this video, we're going to cover Kramer's rule. And Kramer's rule basically is going to give us the determinant, because that was really easy to find, right? It's going to give us three different determinants. So the first determinant that you're going to have is if you write this as um, an augmented matrix, you would write 1, 4, 7, and then you would write 3, negative 6, negative 2. Okay, this side over here you're going to label as D. Okay, so you're going to find the determinant of that matrix 1, 3, 4, and negative 6. Another matrix you need to find is what's denoted by dx. And what that is, is it's a determinant of this same matrix, but instead of the x column, you put the constant column. So when it tells you this notation here, that's the variable column that you're going to replace. So instead of the x column, you're going to put the constants. But the Y column is going to stay the same. And then now you have DY, and that's the determinant of, again, the Y column is now going to become the constants. But the X column should stay the same X coefficients, 1 and 3. And so then if I figure out these determinants, that's going to be negative 6 minus 12, which is negative 18 negative 42 minus a negative 8 is negative 34 and then negative 2 minus 21 is negative 23 and what Kramer's rule tells us is that the variable x is equivalent to dx over d and the variable y is equivalent to dy over d so dx is negative 34, d is negative 18, and if I divide those, I get 17 over 9 as my x-coordinate. And then dy is negative 23, d is negative 18, and so I just get positive 23 over 18 as my y-coordinate. So my solution here is going to be 17 over 9 and 23 over 18. That's the final answer, okay? Now, here we have a 3 by 3 matrix, which if you were to have to solve it using the Gauss-Jardin, it'd be a headache. If you were to have to solve it using the inverse method, that will also be a headache. We're going to do that headache in the next because we've skipped over it okay but to do it using Kramer's rule is a lot nicer so let's first put this in the augmented matrix so you have X coefficient Y coefficient there is no Z coefficient so we're going to plug in a zero then we have X coefficient Y coefficient Z coefficient and our constant x coefficient, y coefficient, z coefficient, and our constant. And so d is just the coefficients all by themselves without the constants. So it's the determinant of this matrix here. And so in order for me to calculate that determinant, I am going to have to rewrite these first two columns and then do that method that we talked about. So this little determinant takes a little bit more effort, but it's still relatively easy than solving it using the matrices. So let's see what we get here. We get negative six plus 32 plus zero minus zero minus 8 and that's a negative 3 so negative 3 times negative 4 times 4 so minus a 48 and 
so then let's see what do we end up with. Um, negative 6 plus 32 minus 8 minus 48. We end up with negative 30. So D equals negative 30. Now we need to find DX. So we're going to replace the X column with the constants. But the Y column and the Z column are going to stay the same. Now I'm going to rewrite this again. Let's rewrite these next two columns here. And then let's start doing that method. So circle these, circle those, and circle these. Then going in the opposite direction, get all of those done. So let's see what we end up with. We end up with negative 9 plus 64 plus 0 minus 0 minus 12 minus 48. And so what is that? That is negative 5. So we get that dx is actually negative 5. Now we're going to find dy. So the x column will stay the, co the coefficients of x. The y column will now become the constants. And the z column will stay the coefficient of z. And we'll rewrite the first two columns. And then we'll start our method here. So going in this direction, three of them. And then going in this direction, three. And let's see what we get. So we get 24 plus 24 plus zero, then minus zero, minus 32, minus, what is 12? It's 36. 36. So in all in all, we end up with 24 plus 24 minus 32 minus 36. Oops, that was not right. 24 plus 24 minus 32 minus 36. We end up with negative 20. So dy equals negative 20. We have a third variable, so we do need to do a third matrix here. So the X column will stay the same, the Y column will stay the same, but the Z column will turn into the constants. So let's rewrite those first two columns. And then let's do our circles. Oops, running out of some pink ink here. And then let's do the green. And so then we get 8, we get 16, negative 32, we get negative 12, minus, minus 6, minus a negative 8, minus um, a negative 64. So what does that look like? That looks like 8 minus 32 minus 12 minus 6 plus 8 plus 64, which gives me 30. So that means Z equals 30. I'm sorry, DZ equals 30. So how do I figure out what X, Y, and Z is? X is DX over D. So negative 5 over negative 30 which reduces to a positive 1, 6. Y is dy over d, which is negative 20 over 30, negative 30, which reduces down to a positive 2 thirds. Z is dz over 3, or sorry, over d, which is 
30 over negative 30, which is equal to negative 1. So what is the solution? 1 6 for x, 2 thirds for y, and negative 1 for z. Now, in a separate video, I'm going to go back to um, solving the 3 by 3 using the inverse. Because we did kind of skip over that because I knew it was going to take a really long time to figure out. So, but I do think it's going to eat up too much time. So we'll do that in a third video.